Hey there, I have on this Mac Mini Linux. On the second Mac Mini, I have installed the ESXi and I was very satisfied with it, so I have to install on this one also. But first, I will add this SSD on it. So, let's open it up. Interesting, it's not that dirty, considering it's working 24-7 for four years. You can see some dust, it's not that clean. This is the antenna. Here is a tricky part, you normally need a tool, but you can use two screwdrivers as long as they are long and thin. And you have to put them here in these holes, you see? And you have to do something like this. This is the hard disk. Okay. I cleaned it up a bit, should be better. So all I have to do is to remove this part from the hard disk and put the other one. Carefully remove SATA cable. Okay. Do not forget to put these uh, screws back. There is a hole here and one here. It's not that uh, easy. Okay, so I think I managed to put it correctly. Put the SATA connector back to its position. Okay, and now we put the fan back. Do not forget to put the connector first because otherwise you will fry your Mac. ESXi doesn't support fan monitoring. You will not know if the fan is working or not. Yeah, it's working. Perfect. Let's close it. You need a stick with ESXi on it. I already prepared this. Instead of stick, you can do netboot. I was trying to do netboot if something didn't work. If I will make it work, I will show you in another video. My DHCP server provided an IP to it, so if you are satisfied like this, you can just go on the IP address provided. I prefer to keep it with static IP, so I don't know if you can see here, it's written F2 to customize. You have to provide password and now you have a lot of options to choose from. So I will press on configure, IPv4 configuration, choose static IP and choose whatever I want. Okay, so now I have static IP address. You see now instead of DHCP, it's written static. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this interesting and see you in the next one. Bye.